Good morning, guys. I just wanted to show you what I'm eating on this menu plan. Um, I don't advise people to eat my menu plan. Um, when I'm creating things for clients, I create their menu plan based on their macro limits and what they like to eat. Uh, what I do is not what everyone else should do, but it is an example. So I started my cut yesterday. Today is day two, and I created my menu plan, you know, a couple weeks prior. So I know exactly what I'm going to eat, and I have decided that I will eat the same thing um, for 30 days. The quantities may change along the 30 days, but the what I'm eating uh, will stay the same. The reason I have chosen this exact menu plan is for a couple re three reasons. One, convenience. It doesn't take that long to do. Two, it's extremely cheap. Um, I like to not spend a lot of money. Um, so the items that I have chosen is, you know, very inexpensive. So I don't spend that much in groceries almost, you know, pretty much at all. And then the third reason is I want to uh, be as as most chemical free and uh, animal byproduct free as I possibly can. Uh, so there's only one animal byproduct in here um, that and it actually only one thing that actually well two things that have chemicals in it. The rest of it this is pure 100% chemical free and uh, be, would be considered vegan. Alright so here is my menu plan. One of the things that I have is I have a, a where I get most of my uh, protein from is like a protein oatmeal a berry concoction so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh everything out right now um, and I have everything written on a piece of paper uh, if you guys can see that no okay anyway so I have everything written on a piece of paper so that I can see it and I know exactly how much everything is uh, I weigh out everything because if you look at the packages it will tell you uh, the weight of every serving size but it could vary greatly um, depending on what they say. So say, uh, I know for the sugar it says one teaspoon is a serving size, but it says that it's four grams. Um, so I measure out four grams times however many serving sizes I have chosen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and you guys can see it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do 60 grams. Let's go ahead and turn the scale on. I'm going to do 60 grams of oatmeal. out there we go 60 grams and then I'm gonna hit tar that brings it back I'm gonna do one tablespoon of uh, cinnamon cinnamon is really good for you so I don't um, exactly weigh that out but um, it's around you know seven to eight grams and I try to keep it within that limit not up to ten okay go ahead and tar that out again um, 140 grams of mixed berries. Mm. Had to grab another package. <laughs> about close enough because they're frozen so I can't really cut them but that's close enough as long as I didn't go over so yeah 140 grams of mixed berries go ahead and tar that out 40 grams of peanut butter it's 30 right there About 38, 40, right on the dot. It's something you got to be very careful with this peanut butter. It's very caloric and has a lot of fat in it. Okay, try that out again. Um, 74 grams of prunes. I already have that um, measured out. And a cup over here, I actually eat that separate. Um, from my concoction, I eat this in the morning. Um, 
you know, after I work out. Okay, 20 grams of sugar. And this is original pure cane sugar. Uh, 20 grams. There we go, 20. Okay, and then tar that out. 146 grams of this protein powder. Now this protein powder is called Warrior Blend. It's raw vegan protein. It only has three ingredients and it's basically, you know, um, pea protein, raw cranberry protein, and organic hemp seed protein. So it's completely um, vegan and chemical free. Um, the taste um, is very yucky, <laughs> uh, as you would imagine. Uh, so that's why I have the berries in here. I have the sugar in here. Um, I have the peanut butter in here. So um, I mix everything together and it actually is like a, uh, what do you call it, a granola mixture. Um, and this is what I can eat on all day. Um, and it get, it's a tiny bit of a sweet tooth. It has my fats in it. It has my carbs in it. It definitely has my protein that I need. And this is completely vegan free. Now for other people, they may want to have a huge, you know, massive amounts of, you know, chicken to get this protein. Right now, this is 140 grams of, um, of this uh, protein powder. Um, and that's roughly around five servings. So it's like roughly around 100 grams of protein, which is really great. Uh, you would have to eat a lot of chicken um, to consume that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, uh, there, there we go. It's sort of right on the cusp. There we go. 146 grams. Um, I just prefer not to, when I'm losing a lot of weight, I want my skin to, um, to do its natural elasticity and everything to look firm and, and good. And, um, a lot, one of the best ways to do that is to eliminate, um, animal byproducts. Okay. So there's my concoction. Um, that's mostly what I eat throughout the day. That's uh, an oatmeal um, granola consistency. And then this is the second thing that I eat throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and tar that out. Um, so I have 344 grams of mixed veggies. Is almost like a whole package of frozen fruit. These are completely, oh, completely, um, take some of that, completely chemical free, just frozen veggies. They're a dollar a package at, you know, Target or Dollar Tree. So extremely cheap. I don't have to cook it. I don't have to, you know, it's just very convenient. Gives me a lot of, you know, vitamin A, C, and as you can see, it's a, it's a big, um, 344. It's a big amount, um, so this is, you know, what's going to help me feel full throughout the day. Uh, trying to get exact sometimes. Okay, there we go. 344 grams of uh, the mixed berries. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that in a different bowl just because it's a lot. Got our bowl back. I'll go ahead and tar that out. It probably has like a little water in it. That's why it has a gram. Okay, so 170 grams of rice. Now, I like to get this uh, frozen rice from Shoprite. That's in a bag because I don't want to cook it. Um, it's a little more expensive that way, but I don't like spending a whole bunch of time trying to cook rice. Uh, cooking rice is actually not even my forte. So yeah, this is like almost exactly on. 170 grams, and these 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 uh rice bags are around uh, like I think like a dollar 19 or something really cheap. Okay, 170 grams of rice, white rice, and yeah, they have uh, what do you call it? whole grain rice as well. So 
So there we go. Oh, that's already at zero. Good. And then the last thing, this is where my animal byproducts come in. This is where uh, more of my fat and protein comes in. I have 168 grams of meatballs. These are yummy, but they are, um, they're only a dollar a pack, so it's a really, 68, it's a really good way to uh, have meat in your diet, but it's super cheap. They're like a dollar at, um, at uh, the Dollar Tree. So it's, you know, you can't buy meat that cheap <laughs> almost any place. Um, they're a little frozen right now, so I'm trying to cut them so I can get the exact consistency. 168 grams. 167. Let's see. Yeah, it's on the cusp. 168, 169. It's okay. All right, so there it is. And uh, this is also why it's important to weigh out your food because this package tells me that, you know, six meatballs is a serving size. It says there's about two um, in here, but I actually, you know, there's about two and a half meatballs left over. So. Um, that would have been extra fats, carbs, and proteins if I didn't weigh out my food. So yeah, this is the majority of my food. Uh, this is what I'm going to be eating every day for the next um, 30 days. Uh, let me show it to you guys. So yeah, basically, like I said, I have everything written out. Um, sorry blurry everything written out um, and so that makes it easy for me to do it every day you saw it takes about less than five minutes um, so I have my granola mixture that has everything in it and I just have to stir it and add a little water and it'll be fine um, and then I'm gonna have five um, drinks five this size drinks um, and uh, this is what I put my um, my pre-workout in in the morning and then I put a tablespoon of instant coffee that's a second one and then I put a tea bag in each um, there's two of those um, and then just one full of water so that's five of those a day um, and that's my pre-workout and my instant coffee that I use here is my you know meatball rice uh, vegetable mixture and then again I have my granola mixture and then I think I have you know a piece of gum in there and that's about it and that's my menu plan um, is it bland yes um, is it something I could do for 30 days absolutely and then I can change it up you know 30 days from now and that's just my uh, particular way of doing it everyone can uh, they can make a one-week menu plan uh, they can make a two-week menu plan, and of course their menu plan is geared towards them. If they want to eat fettuccine Alfredo every day, they do. If they want to eat a bagel every day, they do. If they want to eat a salad and an omelet every day, they do. This is just what I created because it's uh, mostly vegan and chemical free and it's very inexpensive. It also doesn't take a lot of time. You saw that it took about five minutes to measure this out and I'm done. I don't have to cook a lot. I don't have to you know measure out a lot and it's already done so this is my menu plan this is what I'll be doing for the next 30 days and uh, this allows me to hit all my macros every single day my fats carbs and proteins and you'll just see the weight shed off um, thank you bye